Scott, thank you for joining us for the second time this week. We're celebrating three points in the road. Can I get your reflection on the game first? Yeah, obviously pleased with the with the result. You know, big big result that. A tough place to come. Uh, again, a clean sheet. Um, but having said that, I felt the first five minutes they had five shots. So we were a little open. So wasn't happy with that. Um, and Corey, for me, did too much work again today. So something we've got to look at. Even Listen, I'm pleased with the players effort and endeavour and, and seeing it out but we've got to make sure that Corey doesn't make as many saves and I think that that was the only disappointment for me and I felt that also once we played through their initial press and got through we didn't make enough of the moments kind of a, around the edge of the box we, we shot from distance when there was maybe an extra pass but I think we got in good areas at times and I, don't, I just don't think we made enough of it you know we ended up scoring from a set piece Big Harry Ransom sticks it in with his with his head. Great goal, happy with the goal, obviously, but I want to see a score from open play in a game like today. I thought it was open. Once we got through the initial press and we got at them, I thought it was open. I thought we could have scored a lot more goals than we did. But listen, I, I can't be too greedy because this is a really tough place to come. They're a good side. They've got good players. They've got a good manager. They're very, very organised and uh, it's a tough place to come. To come in here and, 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 and winning one nils, you know... Um, good result yeah it's been some reaction from the players when we look back to you know just over a week ago we were coming off the back of a few defeats and you know to come now with one home win and two wins on the road that is you know it's a brilliant reaction isn't it yeah well we said we said and we've been saying it all week if not probably longer than a week that kind of from the last two playoff places all the way down to mid table and beyond there's so many teams that can get in that last playoff place and, and everybody seems to be messing around with it and no one's really taking control of it and I listened to John Coleman's interview yesterday and he, he mentioned it and basically said that everybody wants to get promoted and wants to get in the playoffs, but nobody's doing anything about it. Um, so I said to players, he's right. No one's doing anything about it. And two wins and a draw in our last three games isn't going to be enough. We have to go on a win, winning streak where we go win, 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 win. You know, five, six wins we've got to go on. If we're going to be taking that last spot or the, or the spot, in front of that so you know I don't know where we are in the table now but we have to just keep going you know we can't look at this as you know great win yeah it, of course it is but we can't look at it like we're, we're done because we're not we know what we've got to do and we've got to just keep going and keep picking these points up you mentioned um, Harry Ransom already um, and you mentioned Corey already. Two outstanding performances from those two today. Obviously, you can't look at it in the way that you're almost unpleased of how much they both had to do. But, you know, from from the perspective of Harry coming into the side, you know, he's had to wait a long time for his first Crawley goal. And, you know, last season we saw him play a very different kind of football to what, to what we're playing now. And he's adapted to it brilliantly, isn't he? He's done great today, you know. He's, he's done great in the games that he's played. He's, he's a good defender, um, you know, and he's... He's improving game on game um, in terms of his game understanding and and I think he's done really, really well. And I've been saying to him, like, be the one that, that you know, on set pieces, be the one that becomes the one that, you know, makes the goals or scores the goals from set pieces. Be the one because, you know, I think that Lawrence has been aggressive but kind of not scored and I want, I want one of them to go step forward and go score on these set pieces. Um, he did great. He was really brave in the moment and... Um, good goal and he did well but like yeah so in terms of Corey again saved us today in my opinion you know and that disappoints me that he had too much work to do something that I've got to look at when I watch the game back we spoke a lot in the last few games about making changes we almost reverted to the Forest Green lineup didn't we today with the three changes that came against the Wimbledon how pleasing is it to see those you know changes it doesn't matter who we're you know putting on at different stages of the game all these changes are having a great effect aren't they yeah, I understand players get disappointed when they they feel that they're being left out. They're not being left out. They're just being rotated round, and um, I, I understand that. Um, but also, what, what's good for the team is what we've done for me over the last three games. Certainly, it's worked, um, and we may have to do it again next week. And that's just the way it is. And the players who are coming on the pitch have been brilliant, and the players who are leaving the pitch have been brilliant. Um, and I know they're disappointed because they want to feel that like they want to play and play 90 minutes, but. At the moment, we've got some really good players um, within the squad, um, and it's helping us. It's helping us put freshness on the pitch, um, and it helped us today. Lots of miles travelled this week. We're finally back at home next week. You know, we've got a bit of a break with the Tuesday off. How does the next week look for the club? 
well we've obviously got a long journey home we've got to recover um, you know and, and, and kind of look at look at Barra um, and see what you know what they're what they're about and you know our, that's our next focus now you know I'll be I'll be working on the coach on the journey home um, and putting a plan in place as early as I can and then we attack that game again another another home game which we look forward to um, but we know it's going to be a tough game because they've, they've, they've had a good season um, I don't know how they got on today but they've had a, they've had a decent season um, so yeah another game we're going to really attack a 10 hour pretty much all round journey for the, everybody today including the 96 Crawley fans in that away end it's so pleasing to reward them isn't it after you know travelling so many miles especially on a day like this it's a six hour journey I think it's like a long long way and for them to turn up in their numbers today was class you know singing at the end there and I, I'm, I'm really pleased that we give them we give them something to go away with and you know um, whether we deserved that win or not I think we deserved it on endeavour and, and work ethic and and running stats and all the horrible side of it, I think we did brilliantly well today. Um, but like I say, chances at, at both at our, at, like in terms of us trying to score goals wasn't as, as much as I wanted. And they probably had too many big chances for me. But listen, we, we've won the game and we've sent the fans away happy. Um, we're all happy. You know, I'm not trying to put negative spin on this, by the way. <laughs> um, but I always want more and I always want better. But um, no, we're all pleased. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Harry, thank you for joining us. That's another great victory on the road. Before we talk about your goal, can I just get your overall assessment of the game first? Yeah, I uh, thought we deserved the win, definitely. We were solid defensively. They had a few shots from outside the box, but I think overall, as a team, we defended really well. And um, we improved, I think, on Tuesday night. We let them win too many first and seconds, but today, they, I, don't, I don't really remember them winning many first contacts. So, um, yeah, we definitely deserved the win. And it was a, another clean sheet and a brilliant win. Yeah, three clean sheets on the bounce now. We seem today to do the ugly side best. I think we just spoke to Scott and he said that, that he would have liked to have seen us create a bit more from open play, but as you've already touched on, we seem to be first to every ball. You know, there were some really strong challenges in there today and that's a different sort of victory than what we've been used to this season. Yeah, definitely. I think when you have this many games, you have to win ugly. And like these results, like they feel almost as good as if you pop someone off the park. Like everyone's put in some like unbelievable tackles they've won headers that they shouldn't be winning like I just think especially as a defender that sometimes they're a little bit sweeter than like a perfect performance yeah and obviously we've come a long way this, this is one of our longer trips of the season and games like that can so easily just sort of go under the radar of how important they are but when you look at how close the league table is you know that win is huge in terms of where it pushes us to and you know you know keeping the race alive because you know it's, it's been well documented there's a load of teams that could potentially make the playoffs but that must give the lads a real confidence boost definitely like the gaffer said it quite a lot over the last couple of weeks like it's basically whoever can put a run together is probably going to get that last spot maybe the second to last as well um so we've just got to grind out results like that and then you know at home we'll probably play better football and create more chances but away from home like we've it's a long old journey and we've put a performance like and like that so it's brilliant yeah, you can never sort of complain, can you? <laughs> as we say, we're coming to places like this. Let's have a right. Atkinson are well in this race as well. You know, they're, a re they're also a very good side. So to grind out results like this just shows, especially from last season, how far we've come. Yeah, definitely. Like, it seems to be every team we're playing now have, all have the same objective, just getting that last playoff spot. So there's something riding on every game. Um, and I thought Atkinson were good. Um, and I thought we had, to be, we had to be at our level to make sure we got a win. So, yeah. It's taken a while. <laughs> you finally scored your first Crawley goal after you know several seasons with us. Now that must be a great feeling for you. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's, that's a long time coming. <laughs> I've, um, I know for my for my own standards, I know what the gaffer wants of me. Like I should be scoring more. So um, it's nice to kind of finally get one, just to get get kind of get there, and then hopefully I can push on and get a few more now. But yeah, the feeling when it when it was um, was pretty mental. Yeah. You won the header really well. We had to wait sort of a couple of seconds to see it actually drop in. It sort of hit the post, bounced up. And from, I mean, from my angle, I was I was unsure, but I can't imagine the feeling it must have been when you saw that net ripple. Yeah. It was like slow-mo because <laughs> I, I thought it was just going to hit the post and go the other side. So when it went in that way, oh, yeah, it was like slow motion. Though. It took ages. Yeah. It was nice to see that you didn't necessarily have a celebration plan. You were just sort of so happy to see it go in. You were just happy to run away and enjoy it with the lads, weren't you? Yeah, I had... 
I had a few planned. It was meant to be an army crawl in to, for the new haircut, but to be honest, when it went in, I just went mental because I, I didn't know what I was doing. I just, yeah, just went a bit crazy, but yeah. Well, yeah, talking of the new haircut, we put it on social media before the Forest Green game. Since then, two clean sheets, uh, sorry, three clean sheets, three victories, and a goal for yourself. You can't go back now, can you? No, this has to stay now. This, ha this haircut has to stick, yeah. Yeah, yeah enjoying it. <laughs> Stays forever. And finally, a word for those. <laughs> a word for those 96 Cordy fans in the away end. You know, we just spoke to the gaffer. It's really pleasing to send them down the road, all the way down the road with victories like this, isn't it? Honestly, they're class. Like... We travel up the night before and it feels like the longest journey ever. So to do it on the day like these these fans do, like it is incredible. So um, thank you to them and they, we do appreciate the support so much. Thank you, Harry.